During World War II, there were huge amounts of war crimes committed during the conflict by various nations. The Nazis, as they established themselves over European countries, carried out brutal acts against the people living within their occupation, often resulting in massacres and barbaric war crimes. After the Second World War, a number of these war criminals were brought to court and trial to face justice. The Einsatzgruppen in particular were a group of SS death squads brought in after the German army took over territory to slaughter and massacre minorities such as the Jews and civilians in Nazi-occupied territory. Today we look at the most despicable war crimes of the Second World War and a commander in the Einsatzgruppen who had the blood of dozens of thousands of people on his hands. So join us today as we look at the justified execution of Friedrich Jekaun, the commander of the Einsatzgruppen. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Friedrich Jekaun was born in February 1895 in Hornburg and little is known about his early life. However, as the Germans joined the First World War, Jekaun entered service as a soldier and rose to the position of an officer before he was discharged after the Germans were defeated. After the First World War, times were difficult for Germans as they were forced to borrow money from other countries to increase their industrial output and many in the country suffered greatly in the post-war years. This was especially telling following the Wall Street crash, and many Germans were pushed into poverty, and for this they began to seek refuge and hope in extreme political parties, such as the Nazis. Jekyll in the post-war country worked as an engineer and then joined the Nazi party in 1929, and two years later he was a member of the SS. As he was an officer, his leadership was noted and he was placed in charge of a brigade before becoming a member within the Reichstag. Jekaun was a high-profile Nazi member and he rose throughout the ranks of the SS, later becoming an Obergruppenführer, however he was incredibly tough and brutal. He was a man who ruthlessly sought to rid Germany of political opposition for the Nazis, even sometimes murdering opponents such as communists. For example, he was responsible for the Reiseberg murders, where 11 communists were killed. It was during the Second World War where this brutality came to fruition yet again. When the war broke out, he was drafted into the Waffen-SS, and he served as an officer yet again in Regiment 2 of the Totenkopf, the Death's Heads Division. He saw much action in the group, and was then transferred by Himmler to become a higher SS and police leader on the Eastern Front in the Soviet Union, following Operation Barbarossa. It was in this role that Jekyll oversaw the killings and deaths of scores of innocent people. He oversaw and took control of all of the SS Einsatzgruppen divisions within his district, and these regularly carried out massacres within his territory. The Einsatzgruppen operated in Nazi-occupied territory, and they carried out massacres across the Eastern Front, and they carried out much of the Final Solution. It has been estimated that the group were responsible for the deaths of around 2 million Jews, murdered within the Holocaust. Within the Soviet Union, the Einsatzgruppen's main objective was to kill civilians, specifically those who were Jewish and related to communism or the Communist Party. Reinhard Heydrich himself issued instructions to kill as many communists and members of the Communist Party as possible, along with assassins, snipers, those who made propaganda, and saboteurs intent on stopping the Nazi war effort. Heydrich even classed all Jews as partisans and gave orders for any male Jew between 15 and 45 to be shot on sight, and later that all prisoners of war who were Jewish were to be killed. Even within the first weeks of Operation Barbarossa, a number of pogroms occurred that resulted in the deaths of 10,000 Jews, and the mass killings by the Einsatzgruppen continued. Horrific images of Jews being forced to dig their own graves and then line up in the pits were discovered after the Second World War, and it was under Friedrich Jekyll's jurisdiction that this occurred. Word did spread about the massacres against the Jews, forcing many to leave and run for their lives, but the Einsatzgruppen launched a campaign of horror in Ukraine and the Soviet Union, even hanging people in public to send a clear message. Jekyll came up with a system of killing scores of people and many of the most horrific massacres of the Second World War, including the Rumbula and Babi Yar massacre, occurred within his territory, and used this method known as the Jekyll system. This process was truly terrifying. Firstly, the SD would force people out of their homes, then those who were going to be murdered were sorted into lines of 500 to 1,000 people, and were then taken to the killing grounds. The order police then took the columns to the sites of the massacre, and three pits had been prepared in advance. The victims were then forced to take off their valuables and clothes, and then run through a number of guards. They were then marched into the pits, and were told to lie face down, 
often on top of the bodies of previously murdered civilians, before they were then shot. The Nazis even horrifically wanted to save on the cost of bullets, using Russian guns instead to massacre. The murderers either walked inside of the trench themselves killing the civilians, or shot them from the edge of the pit. Those who were still alive were horrifically buried alive as well, and Yekon himself was present at massacres such as the Rumbula massacre, and saw thousands killed in this way. Yekon had oversaw the massacre of dozens of thousands, and the Nazis morosely rewarded him for this work. It's estimated that in his time overseeing the Einsatzgruppen, that he was responsible for the deaths of well over 100,000 Jews, Romani and those deemed by the Nazis as undesirable. One of the largest massacres that Yekon presided over was the Rumbula massacre, which took place between November 30th and December 8th 1941. Near to Riga in Latvia, and around the Rumbula forest, around 25,000 Jews were killed by the Einsatzgruppen A, who were helped by local collaborators. When reading into the event, it's shocking to see the amount of planning that went into the destruction of so many innocent people. For example, Yekon and his assistant went to great lengths to find a site suitable for carrying out the killings, near to the Riga ghetto. The massacre itself was done by around a dozen of Yekon's most trusted bodyguards, and these men killed thousands themselves. The shooters fired on the victims from the edge of the smaller pits, but in the larger ones they directly fired into the victims by walking amongst the dead. Yekon himself stood at the top of the pit and gave instructions to the shooters, and by the first day 13,000 people had been shot. Many of the victims were described as half dead after they were shot, but by the end of the killings, around 24,000 Latvian Jews and 1,000 German Jews were killed. Yekon also presided over the Babi Yar massacre, in which over the course of two days, the 29th and 30th of September 1941, the largest mass killing under the Nazi regime was carried out against the Soviets at the time. Babi Yar is sometimes referred to as the biggest single massacre of the Holocaust, and it was decided to kill all of the Jews in Kiev, and the Einsatzgruppen was brought in to carry out the job with many other units. It was reported later that although approximately only 5,000 to 6,000 Jews had been expected, more than 30,000 Jews arrived, who until the very moment of their execution still believed in resettlement. As the Second World War came to a conclusion, Yekon continued his campaign of terror until he was captured by the Red Army near to Halber in Germany on the 28th of April 1945. He was quickly identified and was brought to trial in early 1946 in the Riga trials that took place in the Latvian city, where Yekon had brought terror to. He was placed on trial with eight other men, and it was very easy for the prosecution. It was clear that he was responsible for the crimes and massacre he committed, and he was deemed to be guilty. During the trial it was found how he was present at most of the massacres, had even shot people inside the massacres himself, and even boasted about it. The prosecutors also uncovered a long line of his murders across the Balkans and Ukraine, and he was deemed to have been responsible for at least 100,000 executions and murders. Yekon tried to maintain his innocence, saying that he was only following Heinrich Himmler's orders, however he was sentenced to death. On the 3rd of February 1946, Friedrich Yekon was taken from his prison cell to Victory Square in Riga, along with other defendants who had been condemned to die. There was a huge crowd that day inside of the square to witness the executions of the men who had caused so much pain and devastation. A gallows had been created inside of the square, and Yekon was led up to his specific gallows. He was then stood onto the back of a lorry, under the scaffold, and whilst on this platform the noose was placed around his neck. The crowd was so large that day, and as Yekon looked into the crowd, the lorry quickly drove off, and Yekon was left there hanging, and he was suffocated in front of the large crowd. Friedrich Yekon himself was a brutal and sadistic man, obsessed with exterminating as many people for the Third Reich as he could. His execution was justice for so many of the people who had lost family members and friends in many of the massacres carried out by the Einsatzgruppen. To end this video, a quote from Frieda Mickelson, a survivor of the Rumbula massacre, highlights the terror that Yekon brought to the world. She said inside of the pit, A mountain of footwear was pressing down on me. My body was so numb from the cold and immobility. However, I was fully conscious now. The snow under me had melted from the heat of my body. Quiet for a while. Then from a direction, a child's cry. Mama, mama, mama. A few shots. Quiet killed. It was under Yekon's leadership that these horrific events occurred. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, 
please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.